How old are you, Musa? Eight. Eight years old. So, are you the youngest Ilm Summit student ever? Uh, no. No? Were there younger people before you? There's one that's seven. There's one that's seven? Oh, man. So, how have you found Ilm Summit so far? Good. Have you been able to understand everything the Sheikh's saying? Mm -hmm. Do you take notes in class? Yeah. Do you have any of your notes on you? No, this is my quotes. I'm going to do for the paper. Wow. But I saw your booklet. You had a whole booklet of quotes, right? Yeah, but I left it in the hotel room. Oh, no, mashallah. Right. So, can you tell me anything you've learned so far from Elm Summit? Anything that uh, you didn't learn, you didn't know before you came? If you do more than the Sunnah, it doesn't count. It if you do more than the Sunnah, it doesn't count. What does that mean? Like, you can't say SubhanAllah more than 33 times after you pray. You have to right. So you have to do things according to the Sunnah yeah. in order for it to be accepted. MashaAllah, very good. You plan on coming to future Elm Summits as well? Mm -hmm. You want to one day, you want to become a scholar? You want to become a sheikh? Yeah. Yeah? MashaAllah. Who's his father, MashaAllah? Providing his kids a great opportunity to learn the deen, MashaAllah. So what's happening right now in Malaysia? Um, Plat is uh, east coast of Malaysia. So far, the news that we get is uh, around 70,000 people have been evacuated so far and the situation is getting worse and worse. SubhanAllah. Yeah. When, when did this happen? I think uh, one, two weeks ago. Yeah, one, two weeks ago. And now it's getting worse and worse. And some area has been totally being cut off from communications, no water, no electricity, nothing, no food, it can only be accessed through helicopter. Wow, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I think what's that was. Brothers and sisters, you heard what the brother was saying, please make dua for all the people, our brothers and sisters in Malaysia uh, that are going through this huge catastrophe, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them patience, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make things easy for all of them. I mean. <laughs> that happened to me mm. is um, when I was doing the class I looked back and some sisters were crying and I didn't know why and then I was flipping through my notes and the first page I opened it said Allah knows what you don't know so what did you think that meant <laughs> what do you think what did you think that meant that means I don't know why they're crying but Allah does that's right um, you know a person, a person who has hadith, he will have two types of hadith. He will have, have, he will have hadith that other scholars narrate as well. And that's a straightforward then, because if you don't like his hadith, you go to another one. Or you'll go, to, or you'll have hadith which only he himself narrates. So the afraad of a person, the individual narrations that only come to us through this person. If it happens to be for geographical reasons, it doesn't have to be that from a from a from a practical from a technical reason, it could just be for geographical reason. This is the only way that we've got this this hadith through this person. And that's important to know because if you narrate someone's individual narration from his afraad, you are showing immense confidence in that narrator. And that's what Imam Bukhari does here. Sheikh Abu Isa started his Abu Isa was uh, mentioning about you, you know. Saying what? Yeah. Uh, skills and <laughs> doing, you know, things and, you know. What did he say? You, you were hearing that, right? Earlier. No. Yeah. What did he say? Mentioning something, I don't know. I didn't grab my something, head, but he something bad? mentioned by the uh, Buna Muhammad. <laughs> was it? Uh, Sheikh Abaisa apparently is talking smack about me. What did he say? Something bad? Yeah, good things. Good? Uh, nobody talks bad about you. you know? Well, a lot of people talk bad about me. <laughs> uh, they have the right to, though. There's a lot of bad things about me. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Sheikh Abu Isa started his Kitab al Ilm, which uh, apparently for some people is very difficult because I think he put a lot of effort into it and obviously it's a very 
um, you know, dense subject. There's a lot that he can cover, and so uh, students have been really kind of stepping up their game with their notes and making sure that they're comprehending the information as best they can. Um, and as you can see, obviously, you know, just by hearing what he's been discussing, it really does show the capacity of Ilm Summit. It's an opportunity for students to get an intensive dose of Ilm. Uh, because typically on Maghrib weekend classes, you know, we kind of hit surface topics, uh, but Ilm Summit has a completely different objective, which is to really give us the chance to study intensively, and that's exactly what Sheikh Abu is offering. Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah. I'm getting all the evidence. I'm compiling evidence to be used in a case of court. You took the cake before you even took your food. That's Jackie, that's the princess cake. The chocolate uh, cake, cake is gone. Yeah. That's the princess yeah. cake. Yeah. What yeah. is the No, I wanted my own chocolate cake. It's gone already. <laughs> I didn't even I jumped on the floor. They're going to bring another one. No, sure? I don't see it. I'm, I mean, another I, another I, one is here. Look at this. Is this guy playing? You're not supposed to eat Lots of sweets or chocolate cakes. Stay away from it. It's not good for your health. That's my advice. So why do you have so many? You have well, two. Well, if the brothers want to eat, they're very sweet people. They're they're more than only the sweet people can eat. Only the sweet people. This is what I advise you to to eat for for dessert. Right there. With the healthy food. So yeah, right. Fruits. Yes. Check. That's not fair. Can you? Is that? And we need a fatwa against that. Can you take your dessert before you take your main course? No. You're not allowed to do, right? Well, you can. You can. It's it's allowed. No, but okay, we need a fatwa saying otherwise. That's a lot. Can we work on no that? No hadith mentioning that you can take it, you know. There no would point. be, we don't know. <laughs> Buna, you need you need to stop with your obsession with chocolate cakes. You have enough chocolate in your system. <laughs> so I suggest that you know you start drinking some milk, inshallah. Just no, kind sure. of uh, balance. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. <laughs> Drink milk, it does a body good. Go. The white stuff is good for you. <laughs> One, two, three, go! Allahu Akbar. They're swimming sideways. <laughs> This is another one of Buna Muhammad's vlogs. Stay tuned. See you tomorrow. Oh, you missed. Oh, almost go. Oh, really? No. Jigaman, Masha. Salam alaikum.